everyone, it's Amy here from the Projector Movement and today we're going to talk about the 2-4 projector. I myself am not a 2-4 projector, I'm a 3-5 emotional projector, but I have a lot of second line energy running through my chart, so I actually really love that second line energy. And the more that I've moved through the world of a 2-4 projector, the more fun I find it. I find this contrasting energy that the 2-4 carries super fascinating. And yeah, it's contrasting, but it all just, it dances and weaves together so beautifully. So let's explore that. What is this all about? So what is our profile? Now, our profile, the way I guess I describe it is it's our life theme it's how we move through our days it's how we experience the world around us and you could say it's like the clothes that we wear so the two four in this case the second line energy is in your conscious side of your human design chart so you might feel a little bit more or maybe a lot more than you will the fourth line energy because that's in your unconscious side and the thing with our profile is that these energies are running through us. Like they are consistently within us all day, every day. Even if we can't feel it, like in your case, it might be the fourth line. You may be thinking, I don't really, I don't really feel this. This is okay. You don't actually have to do anything to be in this energy. It's already in you. And you might find that other people can see this within you more than you can see it within yourself as well, which is super interesting. But please know that you don't have to push and shove yourself into a box <laughs> or into a way of being because you think, oh, I've got this fourth line energy within me. I don't think I'm doing anything with it. I better, I better use my mind and do something with it because that is just going to be pushing and forcing and it's probably not going to feel very good, especially as a projector. We're not, we, we don't want to push and force. That's not our jam. <laughs> we like flow. We like slow. We like just to, to move through life in our own particular way, pushing and forcing. Meh, we can leave that. And I always like to use myself as an example as well. I'm a 3-5 projector. I feel my third line all day, every day. <laughs> Literally, it's there. Even if I even if I wanted it to go away, it's not going anywhere. It's literally, it's there. I can feel it. Just so happens that I love it now that I know about it and I understand it and I have an awareness and I've experimented with it. It feels really, really good. So I highly recommend you do this for your second line energy as well but I don't really feel my fifth line energy. I have other people tell me that they can see these, this fifth line energy within me, but I like, do I feel it? Not really. And that's okay. I know it's there. So there's nothing I need to do about that. It's, it's in me. It's within me. It's not going anywhere. It's, it's there. So I don't bother with trying to force myself into it, shove myself into a box or make myself experiment with it or experience this energy because th there's no point. It's just there. So having an awareness about it, perfect. So you can do that with your 2-4 energy as well if you like. So the 2-4 projector is such an interesting one because it's known as the hermit opportunist. Now, that second line energy, which is the hermit, and then you've got that fourth line energy, which is the opportunist. And when you are looking at these two energies from the outside, they are literally, they couldn't be more different. They're a complete opposition. So that second line hermit, which pretty much says, I love you, but please leave me alone. <laughs> like I just want to be by myself. I'm good in my own space. I want to explore my internal world. I, I don't want anyone looking at me. 
I don't want you interrupting me. I don't want you in my space. I don't want you messing with my things. <laughs> Leave me alone. I love this. I have a lot of second line energy in my chart. And as projectors, we like to be alone anyway. We want to recharge. We want to rejuvenate. We want to retreat away from the world and be with ourselves and clear out other people's energies and how wonderful for a second line projector to have this running through them very, very powerfully. So you've got this hermit energy, but there's also this wonderful naturalness with those who have the second line profile within them. And it's not so much that like line ones, for example, they want to build a solid foundation of mental knowledge before moving forward with something in the world. That is perfect for a line one. For a line two, it's not so much about the mental knowledge or learning at a practical level. It's sort of like you'll just pick something up and go, oh, why well, can't I know how to do that? Doesn't everyone know how to do that? And this, this is where your natural gifts and talents come from. And they come so easily to you that, you think that maybe everyone else can do them and you question whether or not that's actually a talent because you think oh, that's really easy for me surely that's not my thing surely the thing that I'm naturally gifted in I must have to really like dig deep and really struggle to find what this is not so much for a line two and then you've got this line four energy within you which is all about this it's like networking and being with your inner circle and building really beautiful relationships and being with people that you just love and you trust and that you feel so good around. You feel so free to express yourself. And this is likely where your opportunities, opportunist, this is likely where your opportunities will come from as a fourth line person. So the thing that I really love about this 2-4 projector energy is that anytime there is a line 2 in someone's profile, it's always coupled with a more like transpersonal energy. So it's always coupled with an energy that will call it out of retreat. So this is what we say in human design. This is the call out. So this is, this is what will happen for you. You will be in retreat perhaps, and just happy being in your own space, focusing on yourself, doing your things. And then your people, your fourth line energy, your people will go, hello, <laughs> it's time for you to come out now. And you can go, you know what? I'm actually going to really lean into my authority here and figure out if this is correct for me. So as projectors, we love an invitation, don't we? Feels so good. <laughs> someone can see me, someone's inviting me out into something. So this kind of naturally happens for you as a 2-4. Your people will say, hey, come to this event with us or come out into this or they'll invite you into something. So it's like this double whammy almost. You've got that projector invite, your people are inviting you out. There is no pushing and forcing involved. It's just, it's happening for you. The thing is, with two, four projectors, I find that is that there can be this real mental struggle with believing that you have to be able to see your own gifts and talents. Now, the second line in human design is known kind of as the window, second line person. It's known as like the window. So someone on the outside of that window, they're walking past, they look in and go, oh yeah, I can see them in there. I can see exactly what they're doing. But you on the other side of that window might be like, I can't see anything. I don't know what's going on. But the people that are walking past, they're your people. They can see these beautiful things within you. And they will tell you about them. Or if they're not telling you about them, you can ask them, what do you see in me that kind of comes naturally? What, what am I good at? And this is why it's so important to have your people around you because then you trust them to be able to ask this question without them going, oh, 
why do you need to know that? And they'll just naturally be celebrating you and they'll be saying, oh, well, you've just got this amazing way of looking at the world and you share your opinion so beautifully or you're so gifted at this particular sport or it could be something academic. It could be something cosmic. It could be, it could be anything. There is no rule around what your natural gift has to look like. It's, it's yours. It's natural to you which this segues me into a really beautiful point about the 2-4 projector. And that is, please don't compare yourself to anyone else. How can you compare your unique natural gifts and talents to either someone else's natural gifts and talents or to someone else's learned version of that? Maybe you're looking at someone that's a line one and they're doing something similar to you and you're going, oh, this looks different to mine. Oh, maybe I need to change mine. Maybe mine's not right. It's a completely different energy. And with that fourth line energy, you're really fixed in who you are. You're not actually here to kind of change your ways or dull yourself to fit in for anyone else. And that is a beautiful part of that fourth line energy. You're so friendly and smiley and, you know, welcoming. But at the same time, you're like, no, not changing for you, (laughs) which is perfect. So know that as a two, four, you will be called out of this wonderful retreat you've been in. And you'll be asked to kind of, I guess, share about your naturalness or people will call that out in you and they'll, they'll tell you what they see about you. And that fourth line energy that you have, like I said, this is where your opportunities will come from. And this can happen in relationships as well. You are likely to find your, it might be romantic relationships. You'll, you might find that these come through your inner circle, your inner network, and it might not be your close in a circle it could be that your best friend is in this particular your inner circle and then they're friends with someone else in this circle and they're inviting you in because strangers to a two four especially a fourth line eh, not so fussed on strangers but the people in your life that are really important to you gosh you just love them so much and you've got so much time for that and this is where opportunities relationships job opportunities anything it's where it will come from for you most likely so there's just no pushing and forcing that needs to be done as a 2-4 projector and what a wonderful energy to have that you get to focus on yourself and then you get to be with your people when you feel like it and as long as you are I guess spending your time in retreat reviving yourself and rejuvenating yourself and feeling really good and kind of not slipping into habits that are taking you away from your powerful naturalness. Things just, things will feel really beautiful for you. And this is just the tip of the iceberg here for the 2-4 projector. So what we've done is created a specific 2-4 projector training for you. And it's jam-packed full of wonderful 2-4 magic. It's about two hours, maybe two and a half hours worth of pre-recorded video content all about the line two, the line four, and then tying them together as a projector, how to thrive as a 2-4 projector. Charlie has a wonderful conversation with a 2-4 projector special guest, and we talk about how to combine your 2-4 profile with your authority as well and how that can help to guide you through life there's mantras there's a guided meditation for you and it's just a really beautiful wonderful offering it's 49 us dollars and there's just so much packed into it so we invite you with open arms into that the link will be below above somewhere (laughs) so you can find the link for that just click on it to find out more and if you feel like yeah okay this feels good I might jump into that follow your authority and if it's leading you to this two four offering with us at the projector movement 
yeah, come in and hang out with us. It'd be really great to have your energy on board. So I hope that this has been helpful and insightful and positive about the two four projector because I, I love it. I love the contrasting energy that you hold within you and how well it actually works with your projector essence. I just, I find it so incredibly fascinating. That is it from me for now. And I look forward to chatting to you again next time. Bye for now. 